I'm here at the University of Alberta campus, where one company has very exciting news about spinal cord injuries. We have performed a pilot study to test uh, how long it takes to get people to walk and how well they do at walking and whether we get improvements in any of their medical, medical health. The study tests the effects that nexoskeleton called the rewalk, a device which allows paralyzed patients to walk, has had on some of the secondary health problems facing those who are paralyzed. Uh, the human body is not meant to sit 24-7 as they have to in a wheelchair with, because of their paralysis. So uh, getting them up and walking a couple hours every day is likely going to be very good for them. Robert Wu, a man who's been paralyzed from the stomach down for five years, was on hand to show what the machine can do, and he said that there's even more to the machine than the physical benefits. And it's an incredible feeling being able to stand up and talk to everybody at eye level, rather than looking up at everybody. And uh, taking my first step, it was just phenomenal. I mean, I, it's so difficult to describe in words what's like being able to stand and walk like it was before. The machine has allowed Wu to build more than a pound of lean muscle in each leg, something that has allowed him to regain minor muscle control. And while this is not a universal result, researchers are excited about the implication that with more research, this machine could help reverse some of the effects of spinal cord injury in some patients. Also, this is the, some of the research that we're doing right now. We're, we are looking at this, that there's not enough knowledge about the intricacy of spinal cord injury to really make a prediction that everybody can experience a game like this. For Sun News, I'm Aaron Taylor.